Um, Jericho says, it will be the end of the world as you know it at the Royal Rumble. And that's what leaves this Royal Rumble match up for so much speculation. The Miz is entering first, and that's the only thing we do know. WrestleZone put out a report today from Nick Poglino saying, they're expecting a major twist in the Royal Rumble this year. Do you have any information about that, or do you have any guesses at that point at least? At the moment, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any scoop or insight necessarily to give you uh, 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 what that does mean. Uh, I gotta say, you know, your 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 what you just said, uh, I would I would I would throw it into the hat. I would throw it, I would, I would send it to Stanford and get it to uh, get it to wherever the creative guys are. I think that's certainly, um, I think that's certainly as winning of, that's as winning of a scenario as they could have uh, in terms of surprise and you know making it logical for what they want to do. It would, would be to have choice win the rumble and all of a sudden place up the um, the. the the, the, all the spike up the speculation of Monday night saying, well, wait a minute, now we have the COO or whatever the hell is the damn title is this week. Have his title, I mean, I have a Triple H come back to Brawl, but wait a minute, he's, he's also the number one contender technically for the WWE title. I think that would be a, a great way to do it. So I would stick with that one in your uh, in, in your pool. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's Jericho. You know, everybody, including myself, not everybody, I should say, but you know, a lot of us, you know, believe the end of the world was, and I think it was when they were putting out those videos, those end of the world, you know, I think they, the intention in November and December was for it to be for CM Punk, but one of the beautiful things that I, I know personally from personal experiences in, in booking wrestling is, you know, we have a, we have a mystery, we have a, a we have a, a mass to culminate, or just all this, all this mystery wrestling, you can always change it, uh, you know, the million times uh, until it, until it gets uh, revealed to the audience, so they may be switching and making it, uh, Making it uh, a case of Jericho aiming for for the Undertaker. My, my uh, you know, I'll give it to you right now. I guess I'll give it to you a little bit ahead of time uh, for anybody listening. You know, my, my prediction I put out uh, on the Chair Shot Reality uh, coming up here in Part Three is going to be uh, that Jericho wins the Rumble. Uh, you know, so takes away your Triple H there, but I say Jericho wins the Rumble, and he says I'm the first to run to be a champion. I beat the Austin Austin and the Rock the same night. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't need to make that much money for I don't want to do the one thing that I haven't done and that nobody's done, and that, Taker, I'm coming for you. You're going to give me the honor of, uh, of beating you since I just want to rumble. I think Jericho wins and he uses this for the, take, for, uh, for the Undertaker's match. And that would totally open up the field for Elimination Chamber as well, because then we would be able to determine the number one contender for the championship. I mean, that's, that's really an interesting way to look at things, and I, I got to tell you, I really do believe that we're going to be left, which, and this is a point you always make uh, on Cheer Shot Reality, we want to be left with more questions than answers uh, after a major event. And I think that following the Royal Rumble, we are going to be left with more questions than answers. And I 100% agree with you that even though my Triple H scenario is much more of a just a wild out there guess, uh, Jericho would be the logical choice now. Now, do you believe in the theory that seems to be really popular going around that all 29 enter, they eliminate themselves, and then Jericho comes in as number 30? Do you think that's a logical thing that might go down? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it certainly could. I mean, I want to give the credit, obviously, to Argo Cal, uh, a good, good colleague, a friend of mine uh, from the Sports yes. Canada, Argo. As far as I know, it was at least first the published uh, that idea in the blog. Uh, it would certainly be fitting. It would be very really fitting that Jericho for the fact that Jericho has been, um, been so quiet and has done nothing, uh, it would certainly, it would certainly help his establish his heel, heel, his heel character if he did in fact win, not having to lift a finger, and ultimately even more if he if he followed my if he followed my uh, my booking and he picked out the Undertaker, it would be that much more of a heel thing saying, well, I just won. You know, the big thirty man rumble, I should have a match with the Undertaker. That's what I want, and which is with you know, even though you know. He didn't do a damn thing other than just happen to draw lucky number 30. So right. uh, I think that would certainly be a great scenario if Jericho in fact did that. Uh, I would, even though it wouldn't be surprising because we've heard this theory go around, I would be keeping that much more excited if it actually did happen just to give Art a, a good pat on the back for uh, coming up with it. Yeah, and you know, that's one thing about Justin Labar always crediting his sources. We know many other networks out there, uh, possibly even the worldwide leader, not always crediting those sources. So keep that up. I, I, I commend you as a fellow uh, journalist there, my friend. Uh, Add a boy on that. But uh, let's, let's quickly here just move towards Elimination Chamber. Uh, do you think that we have any 
huge buildup that lasts from Royal Rumble to Elimination Chamber, or do you think we kind of hit the reset button and start heading into WrestleMania feuds? Oh, uh, well, obviously, I mean, it's kind of a cop, but obviously, The Rock, as seen, I'm not sure we'll battle. But I do think we'll see The Rock before Elimination Chamber. I have a feeling that we will. Uh, but that's obviously obvious. Um, oh, tough one. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I thought they should have let the Miz and R-Truth. I mean, I, I was a little disappointed when we saw this on Raw. I thought they should give that more time and give that, you know, a pay-per-view kind of spot. But, uh, I mean, they could, I guess, supposed to still go to Mania. But it's a long way. It's tough. You know, very, very, very rarely anymore do we see anything go from Rumble all the way to Mania, except for, like, the world, except for... The world title or maybe the Undertaker's fear. Everything else does kind of get put together or become aware in somewhere in February or March. So at the moment, I'll say I can't think of anything. Again, that's a good thing because there's so many different idiots. Again, for Sunday night, I would have a much better idea there's so right. many different possible things that could happen. Huh? Right. So, I'm happy about that. Well, you know what? We may be surprised. We've had this Mark Henry Big Show type of thing that's been carrying since all the way back in September. And, uh, you know, that's lasted yeah. with Daniel Bryan given, but that has lasted. Um, so, Elimination Chamber, uh, quick question about that. Uh, Rhodes, Goldust, is that going to happen at Elimination Chamber? It seems like it. Uh, it seems like that's what, that's what they want. They want this dude to have a pay-per-view match. I don't think they want it at Mania. Uh, one, I think uh, it's too long for them to hold. It's just kind of stall until Mania 2. Uh, I think they want something bigger for Rhodes, for Cody, which... Uh, um, which was uh, which is understandable and more more current to now rather than rather than a one time come back and bold us. So I do think February elevation chamber we do get to meet And there you go right there from Justin Labar. Rhodes Gold Dust Elimination Chamber now. Uh just this is from a few fans who want to know this stuff. Your WrestleMania uh, you're, you seem to be all over the scoops with WrestleMania. If I had to ask you to pick right now the two World Heavyweight Championship matches, and the uh, obviously the main event, which will be John Cena versus Rock. Uh, what do you got? What do you think is going to be in the linings two months from now, uh, or two and a half months from I'm now? Gonna, I'm going to say CM Punk versus Triple H for the WWE Championship, and I'm going to say uh, Dan Bryan goes to WrestleMania, carrying the World Heavyweight title, and he goes to get... I you go again. He goes against uh, Randy Orton, at least Randy Orton and Wade Barrett. Um, uh, for whatever, I mean, if Mark Henry is obviously there as well. I guess the belt maybe might be a questionable thing, but uh, at least at least three guys, at least those three guys, Brian Orton and uh, Barrett. I think all three deserve it. I think it'll be a nice little. Uh, I mean, it could be potentially a. No, I don't know if I say the show stealer. I mean, obviously you have to probably get the a taker match, but it could certainly be a surprising. Uh, as far as the matchups, I think I really miss the Randy Orton and Daniel Bryan styles and personalities with their characters clash in the ring. Absolutely. And then, lastly, on the WWE aspect, Rock, Cena. Uh, we, uh, my belief is Cena does end up walking away with it. We still got plenty of time to this, but again, two and a half months away. Are you in agreement with me there? Oh, yeah, I was in agreement uh, at the Raw the night after WrestleMania last year when they made a match, and I was there, and I was said that there's no, there's no way that John Cena will lose that match uh, for any for any, any joint play. There you go. You got that there. Now, lastly, Justin Labar, you're the commissioner of PWO Wrestling. How does it feel to be behind the scenes as an actual worker for a promotion? How's that been going for you? It's, uh, it's quite the experience. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's certainly you know, a childhood, uh, you know, Dream or fulfillment. Um, you know, the first. I mean, the, the first big. I mean, I, I had all the build up last year when I was having my problems with Mary Fontaine. The first real big yeah. mm-hmm. event that I did was their resolution, which is like their WrestleMania, which yeah. you know, the, 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 all the storylines, you know, culminates. You know, on the live pay per view, and of course, I'm walking out there with the with the, one of the most respected guys in the business, and you know, Nash. a real life personal friend of mine, Kevin Nash. So that and that right there was. You know, if I never walked to a ring again, I, I would have been. Uh, I would have been satisfied the rest of my life, but of course, uh, of course, enough for them, for them to have to come back and uh, and, and be to take the role of the commissioner. And uh, it's certainly, um, it, it, just to be honest with you, uh, I don't think I've ever really spoke about it since. So, uh, to be honest, like I guess it, 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 it's amazing how much to learn. You know how much you know. I, I feel like I look back some of the times uh, at. at, at 
at interviews or a show the trash on reality maybe a year ago or, or any time prior to I um, ended up working for PWO. I thought that kind of cringe just that my, because I knew what my understanding or mental capacity was for what I thought I knew or for what I thought I understood. And, um, and how much I've learned and, and, and the experience. It's absolutely un- unbelievable to work with the guys I've had to work with. Uh, Matt Cross, who was on the company with Stone Cold, and, you know, world renowned wrestler Johnny Gargano, another big name. Uh, and obviously, work with Nash, um, you know, Raven. There's just so many guys to work with, and, and, and it's just, it's, it's unbelievable what you learn and, and how it changes your perspective. And, and I watch every segment of wrestling, those of you who can't read anything. I watch it so differently than I ever did. I you know, absorb and, and interpret uh, a way that I never did. And it's, it's, a, it's, it's a crazy experience. And I love every minute of it. It sounds like it's working out well for you. With him being your best friend, do we see Nash this Sunday at the Rumble? Um, no, no. Uh, but uh, I don't think he's going to last him in the movie. I agree with that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Labar. Uh, you can find him on WrestleZone.com. He's a, one of the contributors to there, alongside one of the better reporters in all of the wrestling business, possibly the best in the world. We'll see about that. Maybe CM Punk might have something to say about that, or Jericho, for that matter. Uh, you can follow him on Twitter, at Justin Labar. And again, he's the commissioner of PWO Wrestling. And uh, I'll tell you, this guy, he does it all. You can see him on Chair Shot Reality as well. Justin, thank you so much for taking your time to join me here on Sports Full Circle, and I uh, really appreciate it. It's been great. Thank you.